Okay, so here we are with the brazing rib section, also known as plate. And it's called plate because it acts like a plate. Um, ultimately, there are a number of different ways I can cut this up for customers, and it takes on different names. So I just want to talk about those different uh, names. So this way we get an idea in terms of what they all mean. So first off will be short ribs. So when, when a butcher's talking about short ribs, they're going to be cutting strips on the bandsaw that will have three or four little tiny bones in it. And I'll take this over to the bandsaw so you can see what that looks like. The next type of brazing rib is called an English cut brazing rib. And that's basically where you divide it into individual bones, and those individual bones uh, are merchandised. And so you get one bone, it's about three or four inches long. The last type is where you cut a thin strip from it, and it's about half a centimeter thick, and those thin strips are called uh, Miami or Korean style short ribs. All right, so let's take this over to the bandsaw and take a look exactly with how this will all look. So, first up is a Miami rib, and this is that thin, thin slice. Miami rib or Korean style rib. The next cut will be what's called, will be my short rib. These I usually cut at about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. Last but not least, I don't need to do this on the bandsaw, I can do this over on my cutting block, but I'm going to do my, my English rib.